our mental health is complicated, but also really important. Sometimes we can feel things from a range of rage to anxiety to depression to elation. And sometimes it's like we feel all of those things in a matter of seconds. I want to talk tonight about some things that I found helpful along my mental health journey in the last year and share with you some options that could be helpful for you as well. So to start, we have to come to grips with ourselves as to what we're really feeling. It hit me so hard last October as far as reality of what I was dealing with in a mental and emotional state uh, that I got to the point of not being able to deny that I was struggling um, to the point that I was sitting on the couch and barely wanted to move. I was usually wrapped up in a blanket watching a movie um, and I barely got off the couch except for to take care of James. That was really about it. Everything else just did not seem important anymore. I didn't care about getting housework done although it drove me insane that it wasn't done. So there was kind of like an evil <laughs> flip side to that that just made everything kind of compound and worse. Um, I did just enough to get by. I made sure we had laundry. I made sure we had food. And I made sure that James had what he needed. And that was that. But when I finally got to the point of admitting to myself that I needed to do something to get out of that rut and state that I was in. Um, the Lord brought someone along my path. We were having an entirely different conversation. It had nothing to do with um, how I was feeling mentally or emotionally, really. Uh, and she just kind of laid her finger on all of that. <laughs> and she was very wise about it and made some suggestions. She is one of my friends in Young Living, and I'm really thankful um, that she pointed out these things to me and gave me an idea of some things to try, and I'm excited to share those with you as we go along. So some free and easy options, because mental health can be expensive, and not everyone can afford to go to a therapist or psychologist or whoever, whatever kind of um, treatment you can get. I've personally never taken that step. I just haven't felt like it's been necessary. Um, but if that is something you need to pursue, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I don't think it's bad to do that or anything. So please understand that up front. It's just not something that I have personally had to pursue. So free and easy options. You can take a walk. Sometimes just getting out of the environment that you're in can help changing things up a little bit. That physical movement can also help you kind of clear your mind. It makes the body focus on something else and the brain has to run a different cycle, basically. Get some sunshine. Vitamin D from the sun really plays a role in affecting your mood. I would encourage you to um, do some internet searches on vitamin D and the mood and studies that have been done on that. Spend time with a pet. We have our dog Hardison and he is like the most loving, cuddly, thinks he's a person um, <laughs> type dog I have ever met. But it's such a blessing when I'm having a really tough day or just a tough moment, um, he can sense that and he'll come along and I can just kind of bury my face in him if I need to or just pet him or he'll come up and give me a kiss. And I know some people hate pet kisses. That's fine too. Um, but for me, when I'm in that, that mode and I feel really dark and down, it helps me um, to have him kind of come along and, and pull me out of it. You can also do something familiar like coloring or crafting, um, playing the piano. Those are like my three things for me that are super familiar and can kind of give me that sense of I'm okay and life kind of can return to normal. It doesn't always work, but um, even before 
the last year hit and I really started to struggle, when I would be frustrated in high school, I would just go play piano. Like, even if I just pulled out something random and just played on the piano as hard as I could, like literally physically as hard as I could, it just gave me an outlet for the emotions that I was feeling. So that things like that can be helpful. Um, this is my favorite coloring book. Jared got this for me last year for my birthday. Actually, no, this year, even though February seems like it was already last year. But this one was kind of the most satisfying one for me because it came out really well. It's cool. In this book, you have the painting from Thomas Kincaid, and then you get to color the picture as close to the painting as you want. Um, now, if we just had a set of crayons that like matched the thing or colored pencils that match the book so you have like every single shade you need, then we'd be good. <laughs> but that's my favorite. Um, when I do get a quiet moment without little tiny fingers who are going to try to help me color it, that's one of my favorite things to do. Also, doing something productive for me, that's cleaning, organizing something, um, putting something together for an upcoming event we may have going on. That was kind of how I spent my day yesterday. My day yesterday was really good, um, but I just enjoy doing those things, planning something and putting it together, seeing it all come together. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do. So find something that um, is productive and even, I guess, kind of in your wheelhouse, like find something that you're good at and go do that. Even if it's not necessary to your day, just go do it. It'll really help brighten things up for you, or at least it does for me. And then also be grateful. This one is probably the hardest for me personally when I am not in a good mood and not in a good place. Um, it's just really hard sometimes to focus on positive things when you are feeling so down and negative, but it can help to rewire your thought pattern. And for those of us who are Christians, that is the thing we're supposed to focus on. The Bible tells us to focus on the things that are lovely and just and of good report and true and all those things from Philippians 4, 8. So Jared and I have a gratitude journal that we fill out every night um, before bed, and it is from Denise Albright. She's a local mom um, here in the North Carolina, Charlotte-ish area, and she has so many fun things for planning and organizing, but one of these things she has is called the Gratitude Finder, and it's a cute little journal that you can write different things you're grateful for and whatever in. You can also mark... Um, like a random act of kindness that you've done for the week. Um, every other week you're writing down either people you're grateful for or experiences throughout the week that you've been grateful for. It's a really adorable, colorful, and well laid out tool to help you focus on being grateful. So you can find her website, denisealbright.com. I'll put it here um, in the video so you can go check her out. She's also on Facebook and Instagram as well. You can go see her things. Next, we can talk about some natural options. There are things that you can do on a food level and also on a um, just kind of, I don't know what to call it, guys. My mind is blanking. But food or just kind of habits, I guess, that you can instill to help you. So, um you can do things like relax in a warm bath on days that you're really struggling. This could be something great to work into your routine like every week, um, but you can also pull it out at a moment's notice when you're having a really rough day and need it. So I like to add Epsom salts to mine um, to help me <laughs> soothe aches or pains I may be experiencing at the same time. But Epsom salts contain magnesium and magnesium can be depleted from your body by stress. So it's a great way to kind of combat that and boost your body back up just by pouring a cup full of the Epsom salts in a warm tub of water and just sitting there for 20 to 30 minutes. A lot of times I will take a Bluetooth speaker with me and put something on my phone and listen to it, whether it's Pandora um, music or Sometimes, a lot of times I'll put on something um, Young Living training wise or a motivational something to listen to to just keep my mind in a good place while I'm sitting there enjoying the hot water and a quiet moment to myself. 
Um, I'll also add essential oils to that Epsom salt. Um, if I'm dealing with something emotionally, then I'll grab some of my favorites like stress away, peace and calming, lavender, frankincense. Um, Young Living has so many oils for emotions that I can just grab off my shelf and just kind of grab whatever's appealing to me in that moment. Um, you can also supplement magnesium. Um, like I said, the stress levels deplete that. So a great way to, to try to keep your body boosted is to make sure you have the levels of that magnesium that you need. So um, you can find supplements for that anywhere. Obviously, I have a favorite brand um, that I trust. And that's obviously what I would recommend if you're going to go that route. But there are those options. You can also eat some omega-3s. It's important to get those um, healthy fats into your diet. They play a huge role in a healthy brain and a healthy brain plays a huge role in your mental health being where it should be. So some easy ways to get those into your diet are getting eating things like wild salmon, flax seeds, or walnuts. And these may also help to build healthy gut bacteria. And if you've watched my videos, you know that there is a link between gut health and brain health. So it's really important to also keep on top of um, keeping your gut as healthy as possible. Also supplementing vitamin B and vitamin D. I already mentioned that vitamin D plays a role in your mental health. Um, supplementing it is different than getting it from the sun. They're not exactly the same, so you can do both. Obviously, walking outside and soaking up the sun is completely free. Um, getting a supplement you might have to invest in, but believe me, it's better to invest in your health now than to have to react to it and try to get over something or to work through something. I would rather be proactive than reactive. And in this case, I have had to be reactive because it wasn't really something I thought I needed to be proactive about. And I didn't, wouldn't have known how to be proactive about it anyway. Um, but vitamin D and vitamin B are both very helpful. Vitamin Bs help to flip the switches in your brain to balance um, your emotional reactions and that sort of thing. I'm not a scientist or a doctor. I can't explain all how that works to you. But again, just go do some, some internet searches, um, studies about vitamin B in the brain. It's fascinating to read. Also, citrus oils, these are known for, for promoting good moods, lifting your spirits. I like to diffuse them. Um, I think the hardest part of it for me is when I get down into that kind of deep rut to actually just get the motivation to get up off the couch and go put them in my diffuser. That's usually where I struggle most. Um, once they're in there, it just brightens the room. One of my favorites is bergamot. I just love the smell of it. It's bright and cheerful, kind of tangy. And I really like that. The smells that are like that spicy, tangy, kind of exciting. Um, I really like those. So bergamot and citrus fresh together is one of my favorite pairings to put in the diffuser if we're having a rough day or even if it's just dreary outside. It just kind of brightens up the inside. But then also lavender. This one's like one of the most well-known essential oils loved for its calming properties and grounding and people love it at night especially but when you're having a rough day emotionally it can really um, just kind of be like that security blanket kind of feeling so that's another option so I told you there are some things that my friend recommended to me and I have been using them now for nine months because I got them in December it took me about a month to really um, admit that I needed to take the step in action of investing in my mental health uh, but when I began to see how it was affecting me and then in turn my family, uh, that's when I realized I needed to step up and deal with um, what was going on. So what I personally do every day, I drink one ounce of Ningxia Red. And you guys have heard this if you've watched any of my videos, but it's our whole body wellness juice. And one of the things it supports is a healthy brain. So, um, I always take that just to kind of cover all my bases, but it does help with um, like your mental clarity and that kind of thing as well. Um, then I put half an ounce of MindWise in the Ningxia, mostly because MindWise tastes disgusting. Like I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, it's awful. Uh, I think it's like drinking pickle juice. And if you like pickle juice, then okay, maybe you'll do well with MindWise. It's not my favorite thing, peeps, but 
I can tell you there's a huge difference when I don't have it right now. I'm currently without it um, because we just completely forgot to put it on our order. Um, we, Jared and I both have an account, so a lot of times it goes on his order and he forgot and he said, put it on yours. And I was so focused on um, some other things that I was planning for and getting products for that I completely forgot to put it on mine. So that was both of us. <laughs> not blaming him um we both made that mistake so we're gonna need to place an extra order to get me some we'll probably use some of our free points to do that which is a great option one of the reasons why I love them because when we go oops we can just redeem some and it's not a big deal but anyway I take half an ounce of that I put it in my Ningxia red because I can't taste the, can't stand the taste and the Ningxia at least kind of helps it taste better um but that half an ounce of that amazing liquid whatever is in it makes a huge difference for me um, because I have been without it for about a week now. Last week was rather difficult some days. Like, honestly, Sunday was just ugly, completely ugly emotionally for me. And it was affecting James and it was affecting Jared. And it was just a really ugly, I sat on the floor and cried kind of day. And that's when my anxiety and insecurity was like you can't teach this class this week because look at how horrible your mental health has been and you are not qualified to talk about this because you do not have this like perfected I don't need to have it perfected that's a lie from Satan because he doesn't want me sharing this with you guys for some reason because somebody out there is going to benefit from it but we do not have to be perfect we will never be perfect this side of heaven but I'm really thankful for the tools that we do have to help us along the way until we do reach that perfection. I also um, take Super B. I take two of them every day. When I first started um, taking these supplements to try to boost myself, I took the Ningxia and Mindwise every morning, two Super B in the morning, and then I would take two more Super B in the afternoon. Um, because your body cannot produce vitamin B and you flush out any extra that's in your system through your urine. So there's no way for your body to store what you don't use. So it's, it's good. And, and the re I should say the reason why, um, I personally was taking it is because when the body is in a high emotional state, it burns through that B. So since you can't store it and you're using it a lot when you're in a highly emotional state, um, I needed that extra dose of it later on in the day. And that was just a complete personal choice. Um, you got to find what works for you, but I would do four a day. And then I eventually came back to like three a day. And now I just take the two in the morning. Um, if I'm having a really rough day, then maybe I'll pop a few more somewhere later in the day if I need it. But at this point I'm doing just two every morning and it's working out well. Also, I take Super D, which is our vitamin D supplement. It's tiny, it's chewable, it tastes like berries. It's actually pleasant. It makes up for the mind wise. Um, but this also has helped me as part of my regimen. Um, and then one thing I forgot to add that I have recently added to my routine is taking our Life 9 probiotic at night because that gut health is important. Um, so I'm taking that. I can honestly say I haven't been super consistent with it because I forget it's, it's not in the morning with all my other supplements and it's also in the refrigerator. So I tend to forget that it's there and I need to do it. Um, but when I think about it, I do grab it. <laughs> so I just need to get better at that. But that's something I had added and also Aroma Ease. This is an oil blend and it is my best friend, um, in the moment when I'm about to to have an anxiety attack, this is what I reach for. And I'm not saying that it cures it. I'm not saying that's gonna necessarily work for you because everybody's different, but this is my personal go-to. Like it makes a huge difference for me. Um, it comes in the oil. It also comes in what we call an aroma ring. So it's a silicone, medical grade silicone ring that's soaked in the essential oil and you can slide it in your nose. It, it looks like a clear silicone nose ring. Um, so it might get me some odd stares sometimes, but I really don't care. Like I have popped it in my nose at church while I'm on the piano um, because for some reason the last few times I've played piano in church, especially when I've had an offertory and have played for choir the same day, I just get really panicky. Um, 
like shaking, like my hands are visibly shaking type panicky. So I will stick that in my nose. No one can really see it from a distance and I can smell that. And that smell just helps to relax me, calm me down. Um, it, if it, it makes me feel safe. I really don't know what it is about that oil, but there is just something about that oil that makes me feel safe. So it gets me through. Um, another thing that's not on here is our CBD Calm Roller. So this is um, CBD isolate plus a bunch of calming essential, essential oils. Um, there's no THC in it, so it doesn't do anything psychedelic. It doesn't mess with my brain, but it helps calm me down as well. So I'll roll that on my wrist. I'll roll it on my forehead, on the crown of my head, um, over my heart a lot of times if I can like get to there. Um, like not in a crowd, but you know, whatever. <laughs> So it's also super helpful. Um, the last time I started to feel like I was getting a panic attack in church, I like coated myself in that twice in about a half an hour um, and then popped that aroma ring in my nose and I made it through the service. So that's just my personal go-to collection there. Whatever works, you know, for each individual person may be different, but I can tell you works great for me. So every week, I tell you guys how to grab all these things because I never want to share something with you that works for me and you have no idea where to get them um, because Young Living is tried and true and over and over has affected our lives in such a positive way. This is why I share it. It's not about the paycheck. Like the paycheck is great, um, but seeing people's lives change, that's that's what I want. I've seen these change my life and I want for it to change yours too. So you can scan this QR code or follow my referral um, link below. I actually have a mental health bundle built on my personal Young Living site. So you can go right there, find all these things, add what you want, leave what you don't. It's going to set you up on the subscription so that you get the 24% discount when you order it because friends don't let friends pay 24% more. We save you 24%. That's just what we do. So that's their um, fill in your personal info, complete the order. Here's the details to that subscription program and why I'm saying you're going to want to order on it. And then when you consistently order um, 50 PV every month or basically $50, then there are some loyalty reward perks to that as well that will build up on your account and you can get some of those free points that I was talking about that you can cash in for product later. And you can cash it in for all of the supplements that I mentioned for the Aroma Ease Oil and even the CBD Calm Roller. So all of those options, you can eventually build up enough points and get some of those things free as well. That's all I have for you guys this week. I really hope that this one is helpful. I know that there are many friends in my Instagram and Facebook that also struggle with this. It, we're not alone. <laughs> it's most definitely not something where we're alone. We can really feel alone, but we're not. So even if you just want to talk, please reach out to me. Um, I know that can be really hard to do. And it's one of the hardest things for me when I'm struggling is to actually reach out and admit that I'm struggling. But it really helps to just band together. So even if you want nothing to do with the products, that's okay. I'm here to talk and help you any way I can. But next week, we are going to be talking about, oh, you guys, energy. I'll say I already have this written. Like, it's done. I had to think about it. We're going to be talking about energy because I know so many of us are running around just exhausted and I have those days too. So we'll talk about some things we can do to boost our energy and some of my favorite products, of course, that can help you with that as well. So I hope I will see you back here next week, doing well emotionally and ready to get that energy boosted. We'll talk next Tuesday.